everybody. It is May 11th, 2017. It's been a while since I've done an update on the demolition status of the crack building. So I figured I'm going to show you what's going on. If you haven't been watching in a while or if you haven't been looking on the um, CubeCop MTDX Facebook page, it might be a big surprise for you. The entire building is completely wrapped up in plastic. That scaffolding they put up around the entire building is now covered and sealed up with plastic. We'll get you a close look here and you'll see literally every little every little spot is taped up. It, it is sealed up. That's because they are doing external asbestos abatement on the building now. This has been going on for about two or three weeks. And it will not be much longer until it is complete. I'm thinking around, from what I've heard, is three weeks. Two to three weeks. In roughly that amount of time, they will be starting to tear the building down. The plastic will come down. And the exterior of this building may look totally different than what it has been looked in the past. I'm going to get you a look at the other side of it. Like I mentioned, every little, every single little seam in the plastic that covers the building is taped up. With the exception of that out there, I think that's this extra plastic hanging over the side. There's the stadium. They're also doing something down there as well. I'm not sure what's going on. They they tore something down over there. They are still working. And it is after 6 p.m. on Thursday. They are still working. Although during the middle of the day, you could walk by this building and it would just be extremely loud. It's like a bunch of vacuum cleaners going on in there. Well, essentially, they have a bunch of air compressors, and I think they are literally scraping up and sucking up the asbestos-containing the asbestos materials that coat this building. They're literally scraping them up and vacuuming them away. And you can see the grass inside the fence is getting quite high now. Go ahead and walk around the other side and take a look. There's a, there's the Zeiss building, by the way. Now here's something interesting guys, um, now I was told by my wonderful friends over in facilities what they're going to be doing here. As you can see there's a hole in the ground over there. They are going to be taking the trees, the younger trees that are right next to, to the building, they're going to pull those up and relocate them across the sidewalk over here. Isn't that something? Which is pretty nice to see rather than having them cut down they're going to actually move them. Now the big ones, like that one there, they're gonna probably cut that down. It depends. I don't know for sure yet. Let's keep walking and get a better look. There's one of their access doors over there. They haven't even taken the sign down yet, which is I find quite interesting. Even tells y'all different services that are offered in the crap building, which have since moved. Yeah, it's not every day you see grass growing. <laughs> You're not getting cut on, on the central campus or any campus here. Yep, it's not going to be much longer. I was told, I think, three weeks. 
is when they'll be completing the exterior abatement and then the building will start to be torn down and also now I mentioned this in my tax day 2017 update on the um, Terrell elevator but um, another building here on central campus is about, is about to go really soon it's the Terrell building now they were originally the plans for Terrell um, it was supposed to be here a little longer but the new building that's taking its place it would be much better and easier for them to construct a new building with the old one out of the way so the Terrell building will not be here much longer anyways I'll focus more on that later on when the time comes but this is the crap building as of May 11th 2017 Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.